I'm in Cambridge layout in Bengaluru today where the Halasuru Bazaar post office is being built. This building that you see behind me is not a normal building. But once you take a closer look, you'll realize that it's built differently. This soon-to-be post office is the first public sector building in India where a robotic printer has replaced manual workers for construction. It's being constructed using the 3D printing technology. But how does a 3D printer construct a whole building like this? Is it any different from the conventional style of construction? We'll tell you. LNT Construction Company began work on this Halasuru Bazaar post office a few weeks ago. This 23 lakh rupee project is to design and build this 1000 square feet post office using 3D concrete printing technology. A building of this size would conventionally take 6 to 8 months with the help of 30 to 40 workers. But the 3D concrete printer can bring the time down to 45 days, that too with just 5 to 6 workers. The equipment for the project is being supplied by Cobot, a Denmark-based company that specializes in 3D printing technology. This is the first project we are doing in the public sector for the post office side. It's eco-friendly and fast in construction. It needs very less manpower only. The process starts with the design of the building, just like any other construction. But the magic begins once this is done. The plan is then fed into the 3D printing software. This gigantic 3D printer automatically generates the path that needs to be followed from this point onwards. In this case, to print the building. So 3D printing gives a lot of form freedom to the architects. So until now we were constrained by the rectangular and square shapes that are mainly due to the constraints posed by the material that we are using for construction and the methods that we use. But with 3D printing, you uh, break away from that constraints and you can create nicely formed curved, curved walls which can uh, totally change the architectural uh, feature of uh, maybe the cities that will come forth in the future. The next step can get a little complicated. Like a regular construction, cement is used but along with it, other materials are mixed in a pre-decided proportion. M-sand and fly ash are mixed with the cement used. Along with that, specialized materials like plastic fibers and admixtures are carefully blended together. The admixtures not only act as modifiers, but can also increase or decrease the setting time of the mixture. Plastic fiber increases the tensile strength of the structure. It's essential for the proportion of the mix to be precise, so the fluid easily flows through the nozzle of the printer. This part is crucial. It determines whether the mixture flows through the nozzle freely and second, if it sets as soon as it has flowed out. An inaccurate mix could either result in the nozzle getting clogged or the mixture not setting, which makes it difficult for the next layer to be poured onto it. Once the blend is ready, the nozzle lays out the concrete mixture layer by layer. A worker monitors the printing process. When needed, small manual corrections can be made. This 3D printer can build up to a height of 1 meter in a day. According to the engineers here, the structural integrity of a building like this is much higher than a normal concrete building. It can last up to 50 to 100 years. With Aditin PC and Kartik Govardhan, Drishika Kashyap for Deccan Herald.